Item number SCP-2336 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures The Foundation maintains a network of observation satellites to monitor and report the emergence of any Howard Strauss gateways that are formed other than through normal Foundation activities. If such a gateway is formed, Mobile Task Force Tau-16 is to be dispatched. Consult Document 2336-N for details of engagement protocols for the Type 1 and Type 2 entities that typically arrive through such a gateway. Note, see Supplemental Containment Procedures in Addendum 1 below. SCP-2336 is a sequence of phonemes not known to correspond to any meaning in any living or known extinct language. Document 2336-A contains a representation of SCP-3336 in the International Phonetic Alphabet. The vocal articulation of this phoneme sequence by a human subject has been experimentally demonstrated to result in the formation of a Howard Strauss gateway, normally having a duration of 2 to 11 seconds. The formation of such a gateway frequently results in the arrival of a Type 1 or Type 2 Tartarian entity designated an instance of SCP-2336-A. Although instances of SCP-2336-A are frequently hostile, through trial and error the Foundation has developed a reliable protocol for containing them, communicating with them, documenting their characteristics, and most recently, controlling them and applying their capabilities towards research purposes and other useful activities. An excerpt of the containment and processing log for instances of SCP-2336-A follows. Designation, Description, Application SCP-2336-A1 Non-sapient hexapod, mass approximately 1800 kg, emits slime composed of high concentrations of sulfur and phosphorus. Milk for chemical compounds for research and industrial use. SCP-2336-A8 Non-sapient tetrapod with body plan superficially resembling a rhinoceros. Mass approximately 1,200 kg, body temperatures in excess of 260 degrees Celsius, breathes fire, powers turbine to supply electricity to Site-38. SCP-2336-A72 Sapient, invisible, body plan assumed to be bipedal and winged, capable of communicating in classic Arabic. During interviews, claims to be composed of smokeless flame of fire, capable of levitating. Containment chamber integrated into elevator at Site-32 to economize energy use. SCP-2336-A210 Sapient biped, reddish hide. Used as gas filter and modified Maxwell engine to overcome thermodynamics. SCP-2336-A322 Sapient biped, iridescent hide. Consciousness imprinted in the Laplace processor for computational purposes. SCP-2336-A416 Semi-sapient with a regular body plan, capable of summoning an apparently unlimited supply of live non-anomalous Musca domestica from unknown source. Flies crushed and processed for use as fertilizer and for other industrial purposes. SCP-2336-A666 Sapient biped Interviews indicate that SCP-2336-A666 occupies a position of authority in the society accessed by means of the Gateway. After negotiation, exchange for recovery of personnel who have been lost during a containment breach of SCP-1844. Addendum 1 Further research indicates that under certain conditions, a vocal articulation of SCP-2336 is likely to result in a much larger Howard Strauss Gateway thereby presenting a risk that a much larger Tartarian entity, possibly one or more Type-8 entities, could manifest. Analysis indicates that three exacerbating factors are Proximity of the human subject to Degrees north Degrees east At the time that SCP-2336 is articulated, that location is designated Location K. Whether the human subject is a member of Y-chromosomal haplogroup Astronomical conditions specified in Appendix 2336-S The manifestation of even one Type 8 entity could presumably constitute a Category 7 XK eschatologic condition. To mitigate risk, 
Supplemental containment procedures have been adopted in order to lessen the risk that SCP-2336 could be articulated under conditions when one or more of the risk factors are present. Access to Location K has been restricted by placing a landfill at the site. The Foundation has developed a teratogen and introduced it into the water supply in the geographic area where most of the population of Haplo Group resides for the purpose of causing individuals born in that area to have congenital anatomical defects which rendered them physically unable to vocalize the phonemes. Proposals to address astronomical conditions are under consideration.